the first part of the go is kind of abbreviated, almost like it runs together. Away. That's the moral sound, like away. And now the female voice, Christy, what do you think? I, I don't know the voice at all. No, what do you oh. think she's saying? Oh, the cabinet, definitely. Yeah. But kind of without a, without a doubt there. And so if it's saying the cabinet, you know, my first thought when I was going through this, I was trying to figure out what it would be, and you know, I was thinking, well, maybe there's something in one of the cabinets that somebody wants us to find, or, but then you and I were having a discussion, and you were saying something about your grandmother. Yeah, uh, whenever we were kids, she would always tell us to get away from the cabinet, constantly. And this was her curio cabinet? The, the she, china cabinet that's up the right there. Cabinet. Is that the one that's on the wall? Yeah. Anytime you would go in there, she would always say, they're staying away from that cabinet, you know? Constantly. She always talked about that cabinet. And we did pass that cabinet quite a yeah. bit. Oh, yeah. And, and and there were times when we would set something on it, you know, a recorder or a K2 meter or something sat on it. You know, we, we pointed out, you know, how the floor was unlevel and, you know, it could fall over if it weren't supported already. Yeah, that's <coughs> why they have it tied up like that is because... Yeah, because, yeah, I don't want it to fall. And she was so fond of it, you yeah. know, so... I mean, it's yeah, you have to mention that it is tied up to the wall yeah. with fishing line. Yeah. It, yeah. So it's, it doesn't go anywhere. No, no, it's, it's actually very stable. Uh, but it's, it's just interesting that, you know, that's like one of her favorite pieces uh, that she obviously was very fond of and, you know, made the kids stay away from it. And Christy remembers that from her childhood. You know, and, and we get a voice saying something about go away or, or away and the cabinet at the same time. So it, it just kind of uh, <clears throat> almost builds on the history of the place. Definitely. So I, I thought that was thought that was one of the best EVPs we got. It's definitely oh, yeah. you know, one of the clearest. It's it's two words, actually three words if you count both voices at the same time. Uh, you know, and granted having the two no's that sound very similar two different investigations was impressive. I still like this one the best. I agree. That yeah, it's definitely the best. I'm move this back. Let me get this set up here. This is an EVP that Jennifer caught on her recorder. Now, I had, let me set this up. When Certainly. we went in, one of the first things that I did was I took my digital recorder and I put it in the grandmother's bedroom, which is right off the kitchen. And I had set it on the edge of the dresser and I just left it. We yeah. didn't. It just rolled all night. It rolled the whole never time. Never got moved. Ne yes, it never got moved. And, you know, times when you had shut yours off. This one was still recording. Mine recorded the whole night. Yeah. So it was not bothered. Um, you know, we went in that room a couple times, but nobody touched it. Just setting that up. Yeah. And as you can tell, this is actually the EVP right here. Before and afterwards. There's a ton of this on this on this voice recorder, so I got to give kudos to Jennifer because when you're sitting there listening to nothing but static, it gets very old, you know. And and being how this was in a room by itself most of the time, that's what she was doing. But what you've got is just dead air, and then all of a sudden there's a CPP, and then more dead air, and it's so quick and so loud, it just really it catches you. I mean, just really uh, throws you off. So we'll we'll play that real quick and and see your reaction to it. Turn this face down a little bit. I don't understand it. I. It almost sounds like radio, like when you turn a radio on or something. That's, that's what I said. It sounded like it was kind of a digital right. something, but... Well, we isolate it and loop it. property 
and he a child a child okay. buried on the pro property and he was playing with matches and he pretty much burned alive and that's like the only accident that I know of like yeah, well, it's there. kind of ironic because it does it could be a child's voice yeah it, it does. sounds like and I thought it was a woman's voice or, or a girl's voice but it could just be a child it could be a young boy and I don't remember when we were talking about I don't know if it was that night but were we talking about the candle in my bathroom wasn't that did we talk about that that night I don't know if we did or not well, I know we talked about it I don't know if we discussed it there at the location or not okay possible but it's it is interesting though uh, I, it's the first time I actually was able to pull a word out of it well, I, I thought before my, my first impression was it was a girl's name Madison well that's the first time no, hmm, yeah. you know, maybe heard Madison an, but, uh, EVP that sounded like that yeah I, I know mean, it's very it's, unusual isn't it it's, very it's loud. strange yeah because it's like it's like just straightforward like yeah. you know and the the tone change is so odd in it too mm -hmm. but I mean, it's definitely a voice. You can tell it's a voice by the fluctuation in the voice. I mean, you can tell. There's no doubt about it. And there's no clicks, because so, that was something else that popped in my head was, maybe this was from a previous recording. Now, my Uncle Payne, that, 